I don't care what your faith is. I don't care what it is that you believe. Right. If there's a book that goes with your faith, then you better be able to open that book by this point in life and find yourself in it. My first rule of trading was as it relates to you and your endeavors. Some of you may want to open firms. Some of you may want to open hedge funds. Some of you may interact with traders. Some of you may want to teach or sell signals or whatever it is that you want to do. My first rule of it is do it with integrity. If people, if people have given their trust to you, you treat that trust as, as patience as, as precious. My second rule is simple. As I say, you need to be able to find yourself in whatever book of fate that is, whatever that book that goes with your fate, you need to be able to find yourself in it. I've, I've found myself in mine. And this is, this is me right here. This sums up me best, better than anything else. And this is why as I'm loaning you my rules that govern how I move, how I operate, my second rule it's rule number two. It's 1 Corinthians 15 and 9. And I didn't bring you here to preach to you, but I am. What does it say? This is by the Apostle Paul. What does this have to do with trading? Listen! He says, For I am the least of the apostles, that I'm not meet to be called an apostle, because I prosecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Here's my part right here. This, this is my signature. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Why is that you, TJ? I am the least. I don't, hey, I don't even deserve what God is going to do for me. I don't even deserve it. Not in my foul, foul, filthy self. I don't deserve it. Not, not in all of my brokenness. I don't deserve it. That's why I see I am what I am by the grace, by his grace, because I don't deserve any of it. Right. But here's the part. I labor. See, the number one tool to trading is you got to work. You got to work. I just ended a, I just ended an amazing session with Kristoff. Right. He's in you. He's in Europe. I just ended an amazing session with him. In which we worked. This brother brought me lunch and that conversation went for two and a half hours. I'm working. What am I doing? I'm making sure I equip this young man with everything he needs to be successful. I'm making the best of our time together. Yeah, he paid for the lunch, but what I gave him is far more valuable than chicken. And as the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul didn't take money, he took food. He said he, he, he worked according to food. He worked for food. You have all of these big, filthy, rich pastors and all of this running around, but the apostle Paul worked for food. His currency was food. Why? Because you need energy to do this job. You need energy. I never asked anybody for no money. I said, buy me some chicken. Guys, that's symbolism. I am a scientist. I consider myself a scientist. And if you do anything, you should consider yourself a scientist. If this is some something you're doing out of a hobby, get the hell away from me. Get as far away from me as you can. If this is some, you know, you just caught up in some, your little fickle bipolar ass self, get away from me. Because I am a scientist. This is what I do. I study. I work. I was trying to condense everything I can. What were you, what were you trying to condense in that session? TJ, I teach you how to build a laboratory. When you do a session with me, when I say buy me something to eat, what am I going to teach you? I'm going to teach you how to set up a laboratory. I teach you exactly what I know. Right? So basically, 
I open source myself. I open source my brain to you. Why would you do that, TJ? Because I believe that a candle will never lose light by lighting a candle. For me to light you, I don't lose anything. I gain. I gain. Every time I help somebody, I gain. Every time I make somebody smarter, I gain. Why? Because they always come back to me and say, TJ, look what I've done based off what you gave me. Look, they come back to me and they say, TJ, this is how we're going to make it better. TJ, you gave me this. Now let me bless you. That's why I don't charge. How could you put a price on something like that? I gave Christoph for free something that changed his life. But where did I get it from? I labored more of Abundantly, I'm up at night. I'm reading the research papers for I am the least. I don't deserve it. That's why I work my, I labor myself back into God's presence. I show myself fit through my labor and I ask him. I don't ask God for anything other than I don't ask him for material shit. Yes, I want my material things back because I like fancy things. I don't ask him for things. I don't ask God for money. I never ask God for money. I ask God to bless my hands. He's already given me a brain to think. Now with that brain, I need to put that brain with these hands and create something. I need to go into a lab and create some. What's your lab, TJ? My laptop. So when I get with you, I teach you how to build a laboratory where you can test and back test and you can. I teach you how to conceptualize strategies. I teach you how to build a indicator. I remove the mysteries of this and I make known. I make it known unto you. So I don't I, so I don't walk around as a guru or some damn magician. You understand that TJ knows what he knows because TJ studies. I'm going to challenge you to learn something new. So if you don't want to learn anything new, get the hell from around me. I only want people who want to learn something new. I don't give a shit about your age. I don't care if you're 79. If you want to learn something new, we're family. I don't care if you're in your 50s and nothing went your way. Every business you tried failed. We're family. I don't care if you you dropped out of college. And everybody you know graduated but you. And you feel like a failure. We're family. Have a seat. Let's roll up our sleeves and let's get better. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, not me. His grace, which was bestowed upon me. His, replace his grace with Allah. Replace his grace with Yeshua. Replace his grace with whatever you need to feel comfortable within your faith. But we're talking about the same God. There's only one person that made all of this. I don't care what little group you break down into. There's only one God that made all of this. And we're all calling him different names, but we're talking about the same dude. By his grace, which was bestowed upon you, was not in vain. But I need you to labor more abundantly than everybody. You're going to have to get off your ass and work. What is the work, TJ? Study, research, read, test, study, research, read, test, study, research, read, Test and keep doing it over and over and over until you get something that makes sense. And that's why I call it the future.